Our first speaker is has a number of relatives who served. Her grandfather served in the Army during World War II. Her father did a four-year tour in the Navy and went to Iceland, and her husband is currently in the Army. She says she grew up in a military town, but they weren't there for the military. She's been a member of Toastmasters since January 2007. She lives in Monterey with her husband, Glenn, who's also a Toastmaster, and their children, including Sterling, who has attended Toastmasters meetings since being in utero. <laughs> so once in future Toastmaster. She will be giving speech number eight, get comfortable with visual aids. The objective is to select visual aids appropriate to her topic, to use them correctly with ease and confidence, and her title is Cooking with Karen. So please help me welcome Karen Woodson. the chicken is thoroughly done inside. Pampered Chef's deep covered baker. And for a seasoning, we'll be using paprika, which will give your chicken color since it will not be baked in the oven and brown. And I'm going to be using the Jamaican jerk seasoning from Pampered Chef. Now I don't have a sink here, so I pre-washed the chicken. <laughs> Not very advertising now, I know. <laughs> but you, after you wash it, you would like you need to pat it dry. I'm sorry. I thought I had gloves, but I'm not going to touch the chicken, so we're going to <laughs> Normally I would rub the oil on. This will just help the chicken just a little bit to hold the seasoning. Exits to make jerk. One of my favorite seasonings. When you put the chicken in, you want to make sure it's pressed side up because the, this, the shape of this dish will cause the chicken to cook from the bottom up when the juices rise. It'll cook the thighs first and the breast last. Instead of when you put it in the oven, it'll cook the breast first. So your breast is not going to be dry. So now you see it's slightly more appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> the next step is to put it in your microwave for 30 minutes without the lid. The lid, you can cook it with the lid on, but it adds another 10 minutes, and it makes no difference at all in how juicy the chicken is. So if you put the lid on at the end, it'll help redistribute the juices. So after 30 minutes, you test your chicken. I'm not going to do that because the other one's raw. <laughs> and you want to make sure it's 170 degrees on the inside. Now the pampered chef has several dishes, but, and since I'm using stoneware, I'm showing you a piece without anything on it. As you use the stoneware, you'll see that it it looks dirty, but it's not. It becomes seasoned, so it'll be actually naturally non-stick. This is the small round stone. It's perfect for small pizzas when you're cooking for the family. If one individual has their preferences to what the toppings they like. Like, I love vegetables on mine and nobody else does, so I make my own pizza. <laughs> Everybody else uses a large stone. 
when you use the stone, you do not want to use soap because it can soak into the stone. So you use very hot water and this handy little scraper and scrape. So it makes cleanup very easy. You just, if you have kids that wash your dishes, make sure you tell them, does not go in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> and a good thing about the Pampered Chef stones, usually with Pampered Chef, or usually with stones, you have to pre-soak them. And with the Pampered Chef stones, you do not. After your 30 minutes are up, and you put the lid on for 10 minutes, voila, through the magic of Toastmasters. <laughs> ah. We have a chicken. And as you can see, it looks like a rotisserie chicken. It doesn't look gross like you would think it would in a microwave. And it has yummy juices at the bottom. So if you're going to be making dressing in the south or stuffing other places, you know. <laughs> I prefer stove top because it's just that much easier. <laughs> You can use those dishes for that. And carving is very easy. Who has trouble carving a chicken? Can I see hands? It's not that hard. The first thing you want to do is you want to remove the leg and the thigh bone. So you start with that. And you pull it apart and you try to find the joint. Because once you find the joint, it usually just pops out. That doesn't sound very <laughs> It feels no pain. <laughs> and I'm only going to do one side because of time. And then, as you can see, just that easy. <laughs> now, if you're watching your way, a quick way, to save calories when cooking a chicken is to take the skin off. You're going to save half the calories just by removing the skin. Now, if you're going to do this, you want to remove the skin before you cook it so all the seasoning is on the meat. And then to, cook the, to cut the breasts, you just do lateral cuts. And you, will, you guys will just, the stoneware keeps this warm. I'll put the lid back on and you all can have a taste when we are finished. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions, you feel free to see me afterwards, and I can answer them. Thank you. <laughs>